Thank you. It's a pleasure being here with you today. Thank you. Thank you. I believe from Desio that you're very much the person at Shaw that's leading the programs as you come, as you prepare to receive guests after okay. COVID. So, first of all, how have you found your job as a doctor during this whole COVID epidemic? You've seen it firsthand, obviously, exactly what it means. Yeah, exactly. So, obviously, being a doctor uh, and uh, working in Shire, we've been uh, uh, seeing ourselves of uh, working in implementing health to a point that when we had the, the pandemic, that we had to work actually to help people on, the, on their health. Uh, so, it's been a great challenge, uh, but at the same time, it's been very, very positive. Um, uh, in terms of uh, feeling yourself useful and that you're helping society, actually. So, the, so this is being a society, this is being a group challenge for everyone, actually, for all countries. So um, uh, actually, it's been a, it's been a, a, a very, very um, important moment in all our lives. And I think, uh, obviously, for obvious reasons, for a doctor, it's a period of our life that we are never going to, to, to forget. Yes, absolutely. Um, and what are you doing new at Shaw? So are you doing some new programs that are going to be able to make your immune system more efficient, stronger? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that, if you don't mind. Yeah, obviously we are starting from the basics that uh, every Shaw program is aimed to improve your health and subsequently to boost your immune system. We already had that target in our minds on the pre-COVID era. Um, but this time, uh, at the time of the lockdown, we've been working on how to even implement more treatments and more focused um, programs, uh, probably coming from the same basis of the programs, but some with some add-ons, focusing more on the immune system. So basically, uh, our uh, programs are going to include some treatments and some consultations looking into, first, the medical approach to look for or to make an assessment on your immune system and therefore making sure whether you, uh, if you need any new treatments or supplements or advice on immune therapy. We also have an immune medicine specialist at CHA. So we have also included some consultation addressing that. And secondly, uh, achieving a best possible health status. We know that there are many things that can influence your immunity. And when we talk about COVID-19, we mainly have to focus on the innate immunity. So there are some proven treatments and uh, some other habits related to this type of immunity. So those are the ones we are looking into, mainly including diet, so specific dietary interventions, also specific supplements, but also uh, addressing stress and using specific techniques to address stress. And of course, sleeping. Sleeping is a very important part of our lives. And we know that a lack of sleep can have an influence on the immune system. So we are actually put into place all these treatments. Some of them, we already had them. Some others we've been um, uh, renovating or, or, or adapting to this new situation in order to boost even more that aspect of the health. So you made a very good point there. I think people are very stressed because there is a lot of fear about COVID. So that is impacting their sleep naturally. And, you know, stress is going to cause stress on their bodies. You are totally right. Uh, stress will affect your immune system uh, for many physiological reasons, but sub uh, secondarily can also affect sleeping. And sleeping is another independent factor that can affect uh, the immune system. So we already had a specific stress program uh, for our guest, but now we are combining some of the, those techniques and some of the treatments we have had on that program to some of the other programs in order to have this uh, immune system boosting uh, add-on. 
So, as you say, mindfulness is one of the, one of the, the, the top uh, techniques for that. But uh, there are some others like pranayama that I particularly like because we can work on the parasympathetic nervous system and that will have some physiological influence on the immune system too. Because the adrenal glands, everything gets very stressed when you are yourself stressed. So it's a, a vicious circle. It's really so bad for stress. Um, now, you're fortunate at Shaw because you've got the private residences. So you have the ability to isolate in many respects when you go to Shaw. How will you work programs from there? Well, it, um, exactly. We, we do have, uh, the, 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 we are very, very privileged to have those uh, residents. And uh, apart from that, uh, in Sha, we already have quite a, a very, very good facilities. We have more than 30,000 uh, uh, square meters. And uh, one of the, the, the measurements in this um, uh, post-COVID uh, reopening is going to be to even limited uh, even more, the, the number of guests we can have at the same time. So even if you're not on the residence, you will be able to enjoy a very, very private um, stay. Uh, you will be keeping your social distance with no problems at all. But uh, for people who want to even enhance that uh, social distance, since we, we have the, the shared residence, when you have a much higher number of space for yourself. You also enjoy having your own garden, your own kitchen and living room. It's like being in your own ho home with the advantage that you can have some treatments, some consultations on your residence. So you don't even need to go out of the residence. And uh, obviously we are also within SHA facilities. So you're enjoying all the facilities at SHA with this uh, added privacy and space for yourself. So you still, of course, you do the ozone therapy. So you've got great techniques there already at Shaw. We do. We have a revitalizing medicine unit in which we use ozone therapy, but also IV drips, which are individualized for the needs of each person. Apart from that, on this immune system boost, uh, parks. We are also including some medical tests to see whether you specifically need some of uh, particular IV drips. And uh, it's one of the one of the uh, departments that is going to be really really busy in these times. Yeah, I can imagine. Now, is there any treatments that are completely off limits for the moment? Is there anything at Shaw? that you say, you know what, we don't think it's appropriate to have this treatment at the moment? Well, uh, not really. We have uh, had in this uh, time, we've been reviewing all our protocols and making sure they are, that the treatments are completely safe from, for our guests and also for our staff. So that's why we are testing our guests uh, when uh, at their, their arrival, but we are also testing our staff. Yeah. We are also implementing um, uh, standard PPEs, so protective uh, equipments, depending on the contact you have with the therapist. So uh, for some treatments, they're going to they're going to have just a mask and some others, they're going to have a, a, a PPE to give you the treatment. So um, it's going to be the protection and, 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 um, and safety is going to be all the time there without missing any of the experience of being a Shah. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you know, I always have fond memories of Shah with your wonderful walks and your wonderful hikes because you've got that amazing weather all year round. So that's a very key part. Exercise, being outside at nature. These are all components that are very important at Shah to good health and good mental well-being, yes? Exactly. And uh, again, we are very lucky to have those surroundings uh, around, to have the sea and to have the mountains. And uh, we are going to keep those uh, in place and we can keep all the safety measurements. So we don't need to um, uh, break our social distancing for that. So and again, being in contact with nature, it's another important factor to boost your immunity. 
Yes. So that has to be included also on in our programs. Yes. And what about the airport at Alicante or Valencia or Spain generally? So when you arrive in Spain, is there anything that's mandatory that you're aware of at the moment? Because I know different countries, you know, it's all different, you know? Yeah, exactly. So that, that's one of the things we, we always uh, bear in mind. And by the time we are reviewing our protocols, we also keep into account the local policies and recommendations, the public health recommendations. And uh, at the moment, uh, in Spain, it's, for example, mandatory to wear a face mask if you're in public spaces, especially in, in closed uh, or spaces and, play, and open spaces where, the, where you cannot keep the two meters social distancing. So probably at the airport, it will be needed to, to wear a face mask. And uh, our um, uh, protocols for people needing transfer, they have also been reviewed. We are going to sanitize and disinfect all our cars. The luggage will also be uh, sanitized. And uh, uh, by the time when the, when the people arrive to Shah, they will have some measurements. Some of, some of them, they are not going to pay attention, like the temperature camera. So we don't want to bother people just checking the temperature all the time. So by that, we have installed specific equip equipments to do that. Which is very, very important. Are you doing anything particularly different with the rooms in terms of cleaning? Has your protocol for cleaning changed, presumably totally? It has, indeed. Obviously, we have enhanced or our cleaning protocols, uh, not only with staff, but also with the way of cleaning. So in every stay, we are going to make sure we uh, completely disinfect all the rooms uh, with particular uh, procedures, all approved by our local health authorities. And um, not only the, the rooms, but also the common facilities, the wellness area, the clinic area, we also have that, those procedures. We have also have installed uh, on our air conditioning uh, equipment some uh, uh, devices which are cleaning the air continuously, which will be very beneficial, not only for COVID, but for any other germs and pathogens that could be on the air. And also with dining at Shah, you've always had those separate sittings anyway. Yep. So the dining experience is not going to change hugely. The social distancing, I'm sure, will be easily observed if, you've got, if you're minimizing the amount of people coming in. Certainly. And as I said, as we are going to have a, um, a limited amount of people at the same time, uh, we won't have any issues with, with, with that. But in the event that we have a high occupancy, we can even uh, spread our, um, uh, yeah, our, our terms for, for lunch and for dinner and, and so on. But it's, it's never been a problem, so it's not going to be a problem uh, now. No. The vaccine is what everybody is waiting for. Is that something you can see as a doctor? Is this something you can see happening soon, next year? Never? Well, <laughs> we all have, I mean, we all have our desperate and very hopes to have the vaccine soon. Um, doctors have been always, if we want to be realistic, uh, we don't have uh, much uh, hope that they'll be very immediately available. Although, in the last few months have been the uh, uh, same as years in terms of research. So we could be having some surprises. And you know that there are some vaccines already being tried on yes. humans, uh, which for a normal vaccine can take some years. Now it's taking months. So I am not sure whether we will have anything this year, but probably next year, I'm sure we will have something in the market. And what, finally, Dr. Carlos, would you suggest people should do at home to help protect themselves? In the positive um, aspect of this, I think we are going to have a self-conscious of health now more than ever. Um, as we mentioned in the beginning, you mentioned vitamin C. So we know that vitamin C is, is, a, is a good supplement to boost your immunity, but there are some others. Um, I would definitely recommend an antioxidant diet so a diet rich in antioxidants we know that if you suffer the covid 19 infection you have a, a depletion of all your antioxidants reserve storage 
So you need to be prepared for that. But there are some other things like vitamin D, for example. Yes. Uh, we know that low vitamin D can be associated to a, to a, a lower immune system. And now with the lockdown, uh, we can find more and more people being deficient on, on vitamin D. So that is something that we, you should also address. Having a good sleep, uh, it's very, very important. We know that less than six, seven hours sleep will have an impact on your immune system. So make sure you have a good sleep and try to keep yourself uh, fit. Uh, we know that exercise, which is another important part of the of CHA programs, will boost the immune system, uh, particularly muscular exercise, Aerobic exercise will have a, a, a very, very good impact on your, on your uh, immune system. And a very good Mediterranean diet. Exactly. Lots uh, of vegetables and fish and pulses and nuts, everything the char delivers. Exactly. Um, we know that, and, and the World Health Organization, uh, uh, it's always recommending a diet mainly based on vegetables uh, and fruits. Uh, fish as a main source of animal protein. Uh, this type of diet we know is the healthiest, is the, is the diet we've been using from the very beginning. And we know that definitely works. We have amazing experiences with people having some chronic conditions uh, and just by changing your diet, uh, we know that we can change the, the course of those conditions. So that's for sure. A Mediterranean diet is, is the one I would uh, recommend. And obviously coming from where I come from, uh, even more. <laughs> yes, all fresh and on your doorstep. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Carlos, for giving us the time today at Healing Holidays. We, I really appreciate it. I know how busy you are because you're working your normal job. Um, so thank you very much. And we look forward to sending our guests to you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.